ranges of right, dynamic philosophical models. How do we fend off relativism, moral and otherwise? In a system of change, we must quantify the shifts in individual and social sentiment, philosophy, cognition, and pathology. Basically, the entire bandwidth of the human brain would be the ideal sample size. The non-conscious aside, reinforcers of behavior at various self-perceived time increments rest on Thorndike's principle of pleasure or opposition thereof. Memory is punctuated with sentiment. For instance, ask a person to describe the type of thinking when your mind is aware of each passing second. How about chunks of 15 minutes, one hour, or one waking day? If I have a day to think about something, my mindset or consciousness changes compared to if my mental activities were limited to instances of the moment to moment. We describe that type of activity differently. This is one variable of many possible worlds or brain states. What if patterns of these properties were identifiable? Considering the functional introspective nature of thought, current technology using functional MRI may not be good enough. Due to an fMRI machine measuring blood flow, the changes could use the same liquid pathways with differing concentrations of molecular or chemical compositions. I am unaware of how this technology works, but I could imagine higher or lower concentrations of thought constituent cocktail containing more mass and therefore slowing the flow. I am doubtful of this approach because blood flow, even at differing densities, would be regulated systematically through the body. How else could we construct an experiment to test this hypothesis? Han Zhang Lu, Xavier Golay, and Peter Van Zyl wrote a paper in 2015 called Alternative Methods for fMRI. This paper highlights the limitation of our current brain imaging technology. Blood oxygenation level dependent, bold, Contrast is the most common in the field of brain imaging. Efforts to develop these more advanced methods were largely driven by the goal of overcoming the main physiological limitation of the bold technique, namely that it's based on an epiphenomenal linked to the interplay of several hemodynamic parameters that have complex relationships with neural activity. The goal of developing alternative fMRI methods is to provide means that may result in more quantitative assessments of neural activity and better determination of spatial and temporal extent of brain activation. Some of these methods also have a higher selectivity and sensitivity in detecting activation and may be useful in certain fMRI applications. Cerebral blood flow, CBF, and cerebral blood volume, CBV, are based on hemodynamic changes associated with neural activation. The third method is based on diffusion properties of brain liquids. The final and fourth technique being considered directly detects neural activity via small electrical currents or magnetic fields generated by neurons. This approach sounds the most appealing, but its validity is the subject of ongoing debate and still in a research stage. Benchmarking increments of time and measuring difference in cognition is cutting edge and unexplored territory. Once we have a robust, testable, and subsequently falsifiable model to gather reliable data on our cognitive chains, deterministic tendencies will become more prevalent and change the nature of our social structures and consequently our consciousness. It's up to the thought leaders, philosophers, and intellectual community to put forth bodies of knowledge to fill voids of knowledge and understanding. Bridging this gap turns the mountain-laden journey through trials and tribulations to a smooth highway of unimpeded obstacles. Albeit, there will be bumps in the road. Careful planning, large and varying sample size is the key to early adoption. 
a consumer app may be ideal. I offer the PlankSip Gadfly app as one possible measuring apparatus. Similar in stage two magnetic neural signal detection, the philosophy of neural technology both are in their beginnings. This technology could change our species. Careful and deliberate understanding is necessary as we approach this event horizon because there is no going back. Mm.